I make this video to glorify Father God, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Alright, so this is my um this is my rapture dream that I had last night. Last night I asked the Lord if he may give me a dream of the rapture. And I said, Lord, if you bless me with a dream, I will share it with your people. So this is how the dream went. I was at work a random day, and suddenly I felt the urge in my spirit that the Lord was coming to was about to return extremely soon. Seconds before the rapture, I remember asking the Lord to take me when he returned, and I asked for forgiveness. Moments go by, and I heard the trumpets. And, this is what, and these are trumpets that I heard in that dream. And while these trumpets were playing, I'm at work telling my manager, right? While these trumpets are playing, I'm at work telling my manager that Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Mind you, in real life, I actually spoke to this manager about the Lord. He don't, um, he's an agnostic, so I try to lead him into the Lord. But in this dream, I'm telling him, like, Jesus is here. Like, like he's here. Like, he's, like, like here, like, in the clouds type stuff. Like, like he returned. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, while I'm speaking to him, right, I'm speaking to them. And these trumpets are blown. It's so loud that him being a couple feet away from me, it's like I have to scream over the trumpets for him to hear me. It's kind of like this. Like, yo, like the Lord is here. Like, yo, look, 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 look. But, him, but like him being a couple feet away from me, it's like it was still hard for, me, hard for him to hear me. Right? So, um, hold on. Uh, I wrote down my dream in my book because I woke up. And I just, I just, I woke up and I wrote it down so I don't forget anything, right? Hold on, oh, okay, so like, after the trumpets ended, right, I ran out the store and I looked up. I ran out the store and I looked up. And the amount of people I saw saved, it was sad. I'm gonna be honest with you, it was sad. That's why... I'm telling y'all, y'all, like, we have to repent, like, because the, the amount of people I saw ready, and that that was saved, was, it was, I could count, like, it was so few, like, in that area, I could count them on my hands, like, I looked up, and I saw, like, few people saved, few people saved, like, almost close to no people saved, so that's why I was like, like, th like, this is, like, real, like, People have to get ready and wake up. Like, real talks type stuff. <sighs> Alright, so, like, after the rapture, right? I left and I went to the store. It was, like, up the street in this dream. Where I met a friend. We was both, like, sad, head down. All in, like, grief and sorrow and stuff like that. Because we did get left behind. And then I told him about how many people who I saw go. And it was, like, extremely few. And that's what brought me up to the scripture. Um... When the Lord said, enter through the narrow gate, for broad is the way, and, wait, no, enter through the narrow gate, hold up, hold on, hold on, I know it, it's a narrow gate scripture, where, um, only a few find it, off the top of my head, I can't think of, like, the exact words, but when he said that about the narrow gate thing, and he said only a few will make it, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, his words are... It's true. Only a few will make it. And I saw a few make it. Like, it was sad. Like, it was scary type stuff. Alright, so, um... Yeah, like, it was a, it was an extremely short dream. So, that was it right there. And, um, I wanted to say my message to the people after having that dream is to repent. Because the way is... is the way to life is extremely narrow. It's through Lord Jesus. It's, it... it it is extremely narrow. I can't express that enough because the amount of people I saw saved in the rapture, I can't express that enough. That you really have to be a thousand percent about the Lord. You really have to be one, one hundred. You have to keep it a buck and keep it real and stay on track with the Lord. Like you have to walk this walk and be real. I'm telling you, bro. Like it's like no joke. It was like only a few people saved. <sighs> And, uh, yeah. 
and the rapture is soon, soon, because it, because in that dream, it didn't feel like it was, like, long off, because it happened at the job I was working at right now, today, like, it happened, like, then, so it was, like, it's soon, and I can feel in my spirit is soon, so, um, yeah, I don't want to be on here for too long, but that's my dream. Don't don't be left behind. Stay straight with the Lord and um repent, seek Lord Jesus. Behold his return draws nigh. You might can't wait for the rapture, but are you ready for the rapture? You might be happy now, like I can't wait until the Lord return. But is he going to take you when you return? I thought he was gonna take me, he didn't take me. I was left behind. So I took that as I have to be a thousand percent with the Lord. And oh and stay repented. And just stay repented. I have to be a thousand percent with the Lord. One save, always save is a lie. If anybody tell you that you're saved, okay, like you are saved by grace. But if they use that and say that you don't have to repent, no. The Lord said, repent or perish. If you don't repent, you will likewise perish. That's the first thing he preached after he came out the wilderness out of the 40-day fast. He said, re re oh, shoot. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. So that's all I got to say. All glory goes to God. I claim none. I'm I'm a nobody. Just like Straight like that. In Jesus' name. All right, man. I'm